so maybe you get here. Hello! Right. Today, basically, for everybody, I've got masses of, uh, well, they're not all loot crates. You know, this stuff that I've taken out of loot crates and folded the boxes up. <laughs> this is a, another box of loot crates. Some sp well, special, kind of. Um, and also, I'll give you a a little t people not ring me while I'm trying to ro uh, broadcast, please. Uh, yeah, <laughs> it's not happening. <laughs> Thanks, Irfan, for ringing. Uh, but no, I'm I'm live. Can't do it. I'm doing it from my phone. Okay. So number one, uh, you're getting a good view of this. Right. Oh, if if you know anything about loot crates, um, the like collectibles, like like the Hulk. Mm. Is this back to front for everybody? I bet it is, isn't it? Thank you for watching. <laughs> um, yeah, these loot, loot crates usually come with a T-shirt and loads of paraphernalia from different. Genres of uh, sci-fi, comic books, uh, uh, TV shows, and stuff like that. Uh, you got things like this, little badges that you can. Uh, you get special. A long way up. There you go. You see that? This is. Uh, I'm not too sure what this one is. Because I don't know exactly everything I've got here, but it's all interesting. There's a little stories though. One one uh, month they gave us uh, uh, an Infinity Gauntlet um, mitten for doing your uh, cooking. Another mitt. And basically, people were finding they were melting. So um, they basically said, well, we're going to have to discontinue. We said they'd send us back, because they're from America. Um, basically, they wanted a picture for us to cut it up. And then they send us another loot crate, which they did. And they replaced it, and it was... I can't remember what they sent me now, but... It, it's in my email somewhere. Um, but yeah, they come with little bits and pieces like this. And a... Usually a little booklet to tell you all about all the things that have come in it. Well, this one I'll tell you. About the Infinity Gauntlet. But this obviously came from this box. Box. All these crates are kind of a little bit mixed up because in moves I've subsequently uh, just put things in boxes so they can all stay where they are. Uh, number one box. I want best I'm sorting these out so then I can possibly fault. Excuse me. <coughs> excuse me. Um, so then I can fold all these down and obviously I want to put them somewhere. I want to probably possibly show them but I've always been like that about showing them because then they get dusty, dirty, kids pick them up and stuff like that and then they, they end up ruined and then they lose kind of the value but most of these things in loot crates are specific to loot crate. Anyway, next box. Ah, we've got a Doctor Strange uh, pop figure, pop vinyl figure and some of these are like you can't get these anywhere else but here. Uh, oh, we've got a Game of Thrones right, little memoirs book or diary or whatever you want to put in it. The little it's backwards. It is backwards, isn't it? 
I need to switch it around. I think it's got something to do with copyright. Um, most of the booklet, the boxes are great because they usually fold into something else, like a little kind of, uh, you see that, I took all these things out. Turn these into, there's usually instructions on it somewhere. done this to most of these because well we've been keeping all the stuff in to be honest. Do this all wrong. We're doing things on camera before like you your head just goes pop. There we go. And then it turns into some sort of like magical Bookshelf. This one's buzz out a look great, haven't you? Bookshelf or something. Uh, that way, you? Well, many people are gonna say this is boring, this isn't it? <laughs> I, I watch stuff like this all the time. So thank you to Adam Savage for um inspiring me to do stuff like this, to be honest. And my friends have been asking me to do stuff like this for ages. Some sort of technique. I'll go around the, the room and show all my technical stuff as well. And uh, If nothing comes up, if I don't get pulled back into real life. <coughs> Another one here. Be careful with some of these things. Ooh, ooh, that's where it is. My Star Trek Communicator, it's a bit dusty now. It's the 90s one, I think. 1996. Might be nine. Batteries are still in there. It's gone, it's gone funny. It's gone funny on the batteries. I'm going to take them out. Two things like this. Build another one. I'm going to have to uh, disseminate another toy to do, sort that out. Put that back in there. I'm just going to go in the bin. Oh, remember these. Lynx clicker. In, in, in America, it's called Axe. It's, uh, you remember the advert with uh, uh, Ben Affleck, was it? And he was, he was clicking how many women smelt him. Like, yeah, okay. Oh, I mean, I had it to 666 and I've just clicked it too much. <laughs> Damn. We have a Homer Buddha. Yeah. And he has uh, little things here. I think this is supposed to sit on top of this. Um, he's got a little that rosary bead kind of thing. Whoops. Goes on there and a pretzel. Call it pretzel. Which yeah. He holds it. Yay. <laughs> yeah, put it back in. Oh, where did that go? What's that? There we go. And oh the car from Supernatural. Oh, oh, look at that. <laughs> I'm sorry if people are trying to message me on here. I'm seeing the text as they're going up, but... Uh, bring... All right. <laughs> I'm just seeing it now. If people are trying to message me through Messenger, I'm not going to be able to answer it. Hello? I'm, I'm on live. Say hi. <laughs> okay. Bye bye. See you later. Love you. God. Oh, a Metallica. First 30 years. Special plectrum in a special thing. 
Um, I'm, one of my friends gave me these actually, I think it was Kat gave me these. Uh, Jack Daniels will keep, um, I'll keep swearing down. Jack Daniels um, bulky chips. That's another box gone. There's about 20 of these, I think, something like that. This is actually just one of the boxes turned over, but in, inside out, sorry, not turned over. It's a uh, network somewhere. Oh look, you've got a computer, but I haven't. Mm, maybe not. No, what's this one? Ah, this is a uh, dystopian future awaits. I think this is like a, yeah, it's a fallout one. We have a little fallout vinyl here. Can you see? Many to collect, apparently. Yeah, I haven't collected them all. Let's put that to one side. Put that there. Ma and Matrix um, 300 jigsaw puzzle. That's quite. I've not actually opened that. Okay, I'll keep that shut. <laughs> a lot of this stuff I haven't opened or had out. I've, a lot of the stuff that. Uh, I've really liked, I've opened straight away, which, yeah, I know, before anybody says anything. This was slightly damaged when it came in box, I remember that, I was a bit annoyed at that, but I think this might be a protective covering, so, yeah it is, there's a protective covering on it, so that's, I think that's actually damaged the protective covering, but it's still, you know, it's still on the back of a car, isn't it, you know, 3D-ish. Uh, we have a, a, that's obviously a fallout pin. Tons of these pins. Uh, oh, a Bioshock key. I'm not showing these properly, am I? A Bioshock key. Ooh. And the loot crate magazine. Welcome to dystopia. Knock, knock, looters. The world is not what it seems, but maybe you can change it for the better. <laughs> I don't know why. Anyway. A little bit bigger. <coughs> Excuse me. Right, we have a uh, kind of Batman, I think. This is Batman. Oh, awesome. But it's Space Age. It's a futuristic experience. We have 4001 AD comic book there. Uh, I'm, I'm assuming that's to do with 2001. Put that there. We have a, a future armor. Uh, Planet Express ship. Have I opened this? I have opened this. So I'll, I'll show you. I'll show you. Oh, I hate opening boxes. I really do. So, oh, so is that bit at the end that gets you? Ah! Ah, it's bent. Here we go. Ship. I'm not going to take it completely out. So, the placard that goes on, the uh, stand it goes on. Oh, I can't get it back in there. Oh no, it's going back. There we go. Cool. Mega Man. Uh, which one will you get? I haven't opened that one. <laughs> we'll leave, leave that there. And a Star Trek pin. Mm, mm. I've been tempted to take this one out for a long time. Uh, the Star Trek, uh, the futuristic Loot Create magazine. Assuming that's the Mega Man I'd be getting, or some variant of it anyway. There's a couple you can collect apparently. Uh, this is. From what this says in here, if I remember rightly, it's uh, oh, yeah, we've got that t shirt with this the Rick and Marty t shirt. I've got two actually. Oh, that might have been the other box that they sent me. 
in uh, compensation for the gauntlet, if you remember. I've not had these for a while. Um, where is it? There we go. That's what that is. It's, in a, it's the uh, USS Enterprise. Uh, I think they put it on uh, most of the bridge of the captain's ship. The captain's ships. Of the uh, Enterprise ships. Uh, Federation ships, even. I'll get it right. Um, yeah, not seen that. Daisy <laughs> helicopter. All right, Ram. How are you doing? Long time no see. Uh, long time no helicopter. By the looks of it. Hello, everybody. Th thank you. Th thank you for watching. Well, it's a Sunday excursion through the world of my loot crates. Hmm. Let's see what is in here. <laughs> oh. This is a uh, magic one. We have here a Viking's horn. Ooh, nice. Uh, what, what do they call these? It's uh, one half scale. One, one to two scale. One point two scale, whatever. Uh, Floki drink mug. I th uh, there's another word for it. Flagard is it? Something like that? I, I, I forgot. Oh, a little leather tassel to hang it off. Put that in there. And then. Some. Harry Potter socks. Snake. Harry. Yeah. <laughs> Harry Potter socks. I think this is a poster. Oh, look at things. You gotta be careful with these things because they. When they go like that at the end, you can scratch the paper as it comes out. What is this? I'm a man of fortune and must seek my fortune. Enchanted hacker, tricks. The thief's end. I, I believe you can hear Chinooks going overhead. Hmm. Sunday excursions by the army, I believe. What we have in here? Right, it, that's not in there. I've actually lost that. It's uh, a 20 sided dice uh, ice mold making uh, ice, obviously. <laughs> um, what else did we get in this? This is the quest. Ah, the quest one. So it's kind of. I'm writing to you on the hopes that the villains who kidnapped you are forwarding your mail to their evil lair. After our island was attacked by shadowy bunny creatures called Heartless, and so on and so forth. <laughs> God knows what they're talking about. I'm not too sure. The mystical bunny has come to get you. Hmm. It's huge, pointy teeth. That's the other. And another box. This is a. Uh, wow, well, there's a lot of stuff in here. So, free download of Ninja. Oh, I'll not, I'll not show you that. Uh, uh, that's a comic book you get free with it. A digital one. Um, we have uh, Agents of Shield um, keycard. I'm a big fan of Agents of Shield. It's, it's quite good. I like it. Yeah, it's a bit cheesy. It's a bit out there. Th this is. Uh, I think this is something to do with. It says DDC, so I'm, I don't think that's DC. Field notes book. I think this is uh, possibly. X Files. Um, nope, it's the loot crate thing. So I'm not entirely sure what it's about. It'll say in the booklet. 
Um, oh yeah, where did that go? I lost that. That's, that's gone somewhere as well. Because some of this stuff I actually do render wearing. Ah yeah, this is the spy. The spy kit kind of thing. Mad libs. Oh, there we go. This is a nice little game of Mad Libs. Um, this is a super silly way to fill in the blanks. Okay. Let me play that one day. Ah, for the car. <laughs> live, live long and prosper. Uh, prosper. Live long and prosper. Vanilla. Yeah, live long in vanilla. Oh, we got Batman multi tool, multi tool, a multi tool. Mm -hmm. All the stuff that I haven't used. This is a light up watch, but I think the uh, the battery may have gone. Just a little. I think I've got another one of these somewhere. Can't. I've got some loot there. It's just like hidden. In places because I've not, I didn't go in this box because too big. Ah, uh, that's missing as well. Sorry, no oh idea. It's a lanyard for the uh, seal thing. Oh, oh. poster in here. What else do we have? There we go, a Wonder Woman, um, rather dated Wonder Woman advert, or oh. fakely dated, should we say. Oh, the League of Regrettable Superheroes. Wow. Okie dokie. <laughs> This is, I think, there's a rather tongue-in-cheek uh, rendition of uh, yeah, Dolman, Dolman Quarterly. Mm. <laughs> yeah, there's complete uh, P take of that, and some stickers that I've used. Something over there, actually. Um, no oh no, try to put these back in the box. There's quite a lot in that box. I'm trying not to damage all the stuff. Back in there. That looks it doesn't look like a comic as such, but I'm not opening it. Yay! The Punisher. And, just in case he wants to change identity, the Daredevil. And sometimes you get hats and socks and t shirts and stuff like that, and it depends on what they're doing that month. You can order them stuff like that. Oh, I've not opened this one either. Alien vs. Predator doll. It's either Alien or Predator. I was assume. I don't want to open it. I really don't want to open it. And it's not Velcro, it's definitely stuck down. Yeah, no, I won't open it. Oh, look at the credit card. Okay. I might miss some opportunities for more stash here, and I've not realised. Because I did. Go for a spare, we're just like not opening them or leaving them. That is a Helen versus Predator pin. That's cool. Um this is Batman. 
This is Superman wallet. Ah, oh, right, it's one of them. Yeah, it's one of these uh, paper but not. Oh, oh, I've got a little cup. Dear, oh dear, oh dear, all these things I've missed here. Five pound litre. Five dollars even. That's that's not a bad wallet. I might use that. But then it won't be worth anything, Paul. So, ah, this is the versus booklet for this one. That's a, that's a good, good old geeky stuff. Find this book. Because they're not all. They're all. Well, can you find this book? I can't find this book. Oh, the Har Harley Quinn. Very, very nice. Yeah, there we go. Why am I doing this? I don't know. I don't care. I'm bored. Thought I'd show you all my toys. Yes, I do realise I'm from 250. Who cares? See, the, the, the premise is, if you reach 50, and you haven't grown up, you don't have to. Okay? Ah! You dropped something! Put that back on the box is uh, this is the Alien vs Predator. But I may one day open all these boxes and show them in their opened statuses. May, I may. A lot of them are crumpled off and moving and that is horrific. Oh! Shredder! Get them turtles! A vault bike. I've not opened this either. It's a bobblehead. Okay, you're in bobblehead. Oh, well, I'm not opening that either. I know, I know. Um, there's by the Sheldon, Sheldon Cooper. Street Fighter. High polluting. Mm hmm. <laughs> this summer. The film that you saw last summer. But with a different number. Anyway, back to normal programming. Another big box. No one would have believed. <sighs> this is a gone in 60 seconds package. So Eleanor. Mm hmm Yes. I do I do understand this is uh This is actually a licensed one, okay? So if they want to try and see me. Shut off. Then I can go there. Stay. Don't get stolen. Oh. There we go. Lovely pin that, isn't it? Mm-hmm. A Batman wing key ring. It's been opened, so let's have a look. Oh, okay. You want to come out that way. Oh, you don't want to come out that way. Does it don't want to be opened. There we go. The classic bad wing. And now, my car has got an aluminium bonnet. <laughs> and I've got a magnetic arrow thing for the front of the car. <laughs> Hoodies are called. <laughs> like, okay. Yeah, I might put that up. This is interesting, this one, because it actually turns into a car. It turns into a, a drop top. Uh, let's put these in here to show you. I'll take this out of that because it's better. Right? Scar. But I'll start glad to go. Oh, there's cracking that. It's a bit small, but yeah, it's still. It's a pop, it's pop vinyl anyway, so it's, it's like silly dimensions. It's not the original. 
loves loved me a bit of scar. Check me uh, battery. Oh, fine. Yeah, this box turns into a car. What's this? It says Simpsons keychain. Do, 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 Who wants one? Who wants one? No, you're not having it. It's mine. <laughs> there we go. Yeah. Put that away. It's 25 years, is it? Or of the keychains, I think. Simpsons has been going a bit longer than that. Right, this turns into a car, does it? Right, I think I'll do that. This is the magazine that came with it. Yeah, so this is all about... There we go, that's what it turns into. The box. Now, I could I could turn it in. Yeah, all, all my loot crates, dear. All my loot crates, I'm opening them all. They're, they're all missing the T-shirts. The T-shirts are... Everywhere. Trust me. I have far too many t-shirts, so my missus keeps telling me. I, I've got that t-shirt with this one, I think. That t-shirt does still survive. Um, yeah, I think I've not missed anything out of this. But this box turns into a cat. I'll just show you in that. Now you've seen the picture, I don't think I will. <laughs> We'll save it for another day. <coughs> as soon as you start turning the boxes into the actual things, I think they might lose a bit. So I'm going to go back in. Yeah. There we go. There's another loot crate. And we have... Texas Chainsaw Massacre, yeah! This is the horror one, I believe. Mainly, oh, zombie mask, oh, it's Walking Dead. Ooh, there we go. Walking Dead. Yeah, it's from a couple of years ago. It's themed. We have a, <laughs> a Camp Crystal Lake, um, what do they call these now? Things. I forgot what it's called. Oh, this is another. Horror, this is the second one of these, isn't it? Yeah, I, I've just shown this one. Is this the same one? No, oh, super villains, not superheroes. This is the second. Yeah, we have uh, some Freddy type bloods. Um, they're metal, aren't they? Yeah, in the metal. They're great, them. Chopsticks. Uh, we have... Oh, that's, that's a cracking pin, that. Look at that Halloween. Can you see that? There we go. I'm trying to take the shine off it. That, that's quite a really nice pin, that. And the horrible clip. Oh, look at that, and you've got your own zombie mask to push out and play with, and the, uh, I wonder what that was for, and the, the dangly thing to go around your head, and, um, place mask here. I'll put this away, move on to the next box. If you missed any, you can always rewind and have a look at the, the first ones. This is this is the first big box I see. Go back in. There we go. Thank you. <coughs> it's a bit light. This ah ah. This is the, the back to back to the future kind of box that has actually been totally decimated because they're all in other boxes. This is a, a hoverboard. Mmm, a hoverboard. Let's have a look at said hoverboard. Oh, look at it hover. Look at it hover. It's hovering everywhere. It's magical. 
Ah, you spoilt it, Paul. Spoiled it. <laughs> e. well, that's official. Official as well. It's got the uh, official card in it for Loot Crate. These are always like specially designed for Loot Crate, a lot of them. by using white gloves for this and probably not. Don't think that matters. We have another here. Well, they must have known. I think this is supposed to go around your face. Is it? Oh, it got me! Oh. I think it is. Do the rest of the video like this. Oh. Does this does this count for a face covering? I'm not too sure. Please tell me if it does or not in the comments below. Space Invaders, um, it, I can't, is it pot vinyl? Is it classed as pot vinyl? Oh, it's open. That's it. Let's have a look. Oh, it's not as big as it looks. It's quite, yeah, it's pot vinyl. Kind of squishy. We have the X Files torch. Is that the size of the torch? They used to, I'm sure they used to have a massive mag light. They did. They had a, they had a mag light about that big most of the time. Multi pass! Multi pass! Robin Dallas, multi pass? Cobb Dallas, multi pass? No, no. We have that. There, there you go. Terminator can't happen, I've got the chip. As long as I've got the chip, it, it can't happen. That's why it didn't happen in 1997, okay. Yeah, I've got the chip. I've also got the other chip that went back in time as well. It's the same chip, but it's the different chip. If you understand the, the time frame. Yeah, the Mobius strip will tell you about it. No, it won't. <laughs> Batteries! Yeah. Well, I'm, I doubt they actually still work. Yeah, another one of these that actually in my bag it's a, a silver uh, pin that goes on your applet. I've got two of them and I've, I put it on my uh, trench coat sometimes. It looks quite cool. Also, it's quite, mm, yeah, borderline. You know what I'm on about. Oh, look at that. Oh, look at that. That's crap. What else is in here? Oh, that's the last time. Invasion of the Mini Prince and Word Gush. Oh, I played that. I played that. Word Gush. This turns into a, a little tiny uh, arcade machine, kind of. So, what's in here? I don't know if I look to these. Oh, yeah. There we go. What are the worlds? The original 1950s movie and the earth stood still. Mm. Oh, yes. Still, the, the cracking movie still, even though they're somewhat dated, they're still. If a kid, if a kid get a kid to watch them, blow their minds. Obviously, there's the. Uh, the new version of the Day of the Earth for stuff. I'm going to end something. Ah! No, it's dropping stuff now. Here we go. <laughs> Come here. Come here. Come here. Get out of here. That's it. No, that's it. That's the one. Oh, face hugger. Very 
light. Do not open these in some time. So, ooh, we have a I'm not too sure, it says dead. So I'm not too sure about that. It looks like a strange SpongeBob type person. I'm not completely sure what that's from. Oh, it's called the dead. The old dead. Hey, walking dead. These are uh, oh, that's what they are. You see them? I've got one of them in there. I'm not opening it. Sorry to say I'm not a massive fan of the walking dead. Um, so on the rope ears from the Walking Dead. I've got the Negan uh, T-shirt as well, which is I think in here. It's called the Sluggers. The Negan Sluggers. That's in here somewhere. No, this is, this might be the one that I've got a Deadpool T-shirt in. It's very Deadpool. -y. Yeah, it was that Deadpool t-shirt I got, which I can't find anymore. It's about somewhere. Oh, that's heavy. This is the carnage mug. It's the carnage mug. It's carnage is uh, the nemesis of the nem who's nemesis of spawn? Is it? No, it's not spawn. Is it? Yes. There we go. Uh, Ramp. What's his name? Answers on a postcard. It's not fucking the tongue. It'll be in here. Carnage is the nemesis of. Warcraft pin and uh, another well Dungeons and Dragons is not World of Warcraft really because it's uh, a 20 sided dice pin and a uh, Los Polos Hermanos um, apron. I have t shirts as well. T shirts, I've got two t shirts. I think I've got two t shirts. Yeah, because they sent me one, it wasn't, all the stitching had come free, so they sent me another one. It was, to be honest, a, not as bad, but it wasn't great. But yeah, you know, doing this for $30 a box, you know, usually you're paying like $20, $25 for a t-shirt, so given the jury really, you know. This is empty. This is empty because... There was a, a predator head in this, I'm sure. Um, I think you put it on top of that. How you do that, I have no idea. The instructions will be inside, I'm sure. Um, this is great, this thing. Oh, I'm get it out. Oh, there we go. Oh, this is a firing range thing, I think. Um, I think that's off Battlestar. I might be wrong about Star Wars. I'm, I'm, I forgot. Oh no! <coughs> Excuse me. Firefly. And here we have. Two. Oh, I know what these are. Cylon targets. Yeah, sorry, one target. <laughs> you got two. This is an old Cylon as well. Oh, they've got two by mistake. Sometimes you get them by mistake. Oh, no, that's the that's an old that's a different Cylon. Yeah, it's the warrior Cylon, is it? The uh, there's a drone, there's a, a more specified one. Oh, 
this is a funny box. Holds it. Ah, it's the Kill Bill box. With some Kill Bill socks. Mm. And it's not just cut. This is. Oh, yeah, this, I think this is some sort of uh, show thing for the. It's actually Harley Quinn, not Kill Bill. Can you see Harley Quinn there? Let's see from the top. Oh, no. Box has been opened. I could open it. I could. Should I open it? Should I? No. Hello. Oh, ah, and Hellboy ceramic fist bank. Be careful how I said that. Reminiscent of an old pill box that we have up to put new letters in over here. That's lovely, isn't it? It's ceramic. And that survived a trip from America as well. If you just join those, you can miss quite a bit. Um, but, you know, you can always watch later because I'll reshare it. I'm going to put it on my YouTube channel as well. Since uh, there's no music on this and I can't get it kicked off. So, it's only me, dog. It's only me. Only me. <laughs> Actually. Fire and buggered, but you know, if there's a fire, there's a window there, and many guitars to throw through it. <coughs> oh, what do we have? Ah, I said there was a Terminator head. There it is. The Terminator head. I do have another Terminator head if uh, I'll show you. There you go. Is uh, you can see him there. Way. Yeah, that's my camera. Let's <laughs> so back down there. There we go. Better. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, Terminator head. Right. Uh, I'll put these down here. We have a. These aren't out of loot boxes. Most of the stuff, stuff I've just collected over the years, uh, and not opened. And people bought my presents and I keep up with them. So, I'd, yeah. A, a Luke, what's he called? Luke Frywalker. <laughs> Mr. Potato Head. Because. Ah, some of the Luke Crate stuff's in here. This is a Joker uh, painted wooden figure. It's like, mm, some of the cartoons, obviously. Um, comic books. Thing that we have a bumblebee. Bumblebee, where is the all spark? <laughs> this, this, that's my best, my best 
Transformer impression. <laughs> yeah, I, I bought these for my kids and obviously I kept one and kept it in its box. You know, like you do. Uh, oh, I found this on the market. Beautiful thing. Steampunk. Um, like, there's, there's, wood, there's proper wood, that. Um, also, really nice like, cartridge paper in here. Um, and it's been crimped down properly too and there's a couple of screws in there so you can redo it if you need to which I thought that was amazing I think it cost me five or something like that that was cracking um, what else do we have? ah yes yes as it comes towards you it comes towards you it's the wing thing thing from Batman <laughs> can you see it properly? there we go it is cracking. Obviously, I'm not opening that. That's never getting opened. That it's one of the one of the kind ones that they uh, sent through. Was it Eagle Moss or something like that? I used to collect them. I've got quite a few Batmobiles up up there um, on the top of here. Where all my other stuff is, which I'll we'll get down one day. Um, ah, we haven't opened. I think this was Eagle Moss. Yeah. Whoa. The Aston Martin DB5, is it? Yes, the DB5, it's not the DB6. They all, they all have these little things in it for... It's a computer-generated scene from Goldfinger, is it? It might be, might be Rollerball. I think it's Goldfinger. No, it's Goldfinger, it says on the side. Duh. <laughs> um, obviously, it, that is weighty. That is die-cast metal. I'm not taking it out. I know the wheels move because I have took others out. Um, so they are proper die cast models with the original Batman movie, uh, Batmobile. Um, people are giving these away like hotcakes of the week. I couldn't grab them. There's another one of the favourites. This is the AMC, yeah, the AMC Hornet. But this has been broken. Somebody stamped on that, obviously. And you find these in newsagents, so they end up getting mistreated, and that by the time you get them to your house, so this was the one with the computer generated corkscrew uh, stunt on Living Like Die. Oh, the man with the golden gun, sorry. The man with the golden gun. He getting old. What's that doing in there? Ah, no, this is uh, Batman Forever. I just love that. That's cracking. E. Now, some special stuff. I, I've been told that this is a collector's item because it's in backwards. I'm not sure. It's a bit back. It was a bit bash when I got it. Um, I'm not entirely sure if that's true. It's the first order one, so it might well be. I don't know if this is a James Bond one. <laughs> Probably not. But, you know. Um, what's that? Cactus Yoga. Yep. You remember? Anybody remember this? I did this. It was quite, it was a, about 100 quid nearly, 70, between 75 and 100 quid. And it's a safety deposit box. Right, oh, a bit dusty that. And I forgot where the key is. There's a bag in there, nothing. Um, where did I put the key? I'll find that later. There we go. Is it? Everybody come? Is anybody there? It's probably a bit boring for you all. I don't know. I was asked to do this, so I'm going to do it. <coughs> right, and here we have a collection of maps. No. Ah, the car from Doctor No, Sunbeam Alpine. There we go. It's the uh, 
This has a chest through the, the caves on the Doctor No, the original one. Because there isn't a remake, Paul. Ah. Bumblebee completed. I bought two, didn't I? Does it still work? I doubt this will still work. The battery's probably gone. Yeah. Hoping I took the batteries out of that. Everyone needs an air to. An air to. There we go. Ah, the living daylights. There we go. The car that gets lasered and strangely doesn't affect any of the chassis whatsoever. Mm -hmm. Yes. <laughs> um, no, I'll put that down there. I'm not too sure if that go back across. No, it doesn't and the wheels don't move on them. So yeah, m mainly these, uh, not, uh, is it Eagle Moss? Fabry. Um, they tend not to move, they tend just to be like show models. And that box is buggered anyway. Some, a lot of these have been given because they've been destroyed slightly. So I'll take them before they uh, get even worse. I think this is 90s. Is it? The year 2000. This is. And we have an X Men game card box set. The, it, this is where we. It's got Dyson as well. I think I have actually played this with the kids once or twice. Um, yeah. They're just box standard dice, aren't they? Kind of. So yeah, it's, a, it's like a Pokemon kind of game, I think, if I remember rightly. It goes in like that. Cards. I can't remember how this all goes back in. But, no, this one. I remember buying a few of these and the kids ended up decimating them. I think that's exactly what I'm doing right now. Um, yeah, kids are kids. That's what ties are for. He says, keeping all these to himself. <coughs> it's one of two special things in this box. What's in the box? Can I get it back in? Can I? I know this is probably your highlight of your Sunday afternoon or Sunday morning or what? Whatever time of day it is from where you're watching, there's over 3,000 of you now. Wow. I expect that sort of uh, friend base. And here we have the Batman. No, this is a Batman movie. So this is the one Batman Returns. Must be. This one is actually open. So we can have a good look at the Batman view. There is the shadow figure. Da -da, da -da, da -da, there we go. And a USB powered desktop vacuum cleaner. <laughs> it, yeah, it's exactly what it is. Look. Hey. Yeah. That's great. I've never actually used it. It it is open. I could open it. Here we go. Some more of the pop figures that from the loot crates that weren't in the loot crates. It's a CP three O one. C three PO even. Can we get from and probably the best bond car of all time, the Lotus Turbo Esprit. Is the Esprit? Beautiful car, Beautiful. when it's underwater. The original was actually a six six foot model, I think, remote controlled model. Sorry if I spelt it for you now. Sorry. Batman. Yay. 
I've actually had this one out. It's got a, a little lollipop at the back that says Kapow. Can you see that? Oh, the light's getting on it. Oh, there. You can actually write whatever you want on it. I think it might actually come with a pen as well. Um, what's that? There you go. <laughs> meme cards, meme cards. This one. See from the top? I can't see through the tops really well. I don't know why they do that. It's a bit scrunched that box. Oh, it's another Loot Crate exclusive. You see that one? There we go, that's better. It's a lot better, isn't it? Um, there we go, Batman! Batman! Yay. That's cool. We have a Dr. Emmett Brown. It's like, oh, I'm a massive Back to the Future fan. Mm -hmm. Such to the fact that I bought a couple of guitars off the back of it. Uh, so what, what have guitars got to do with Back to the Future? Right, out. You don't know? You don't go. Joking, obviously. Very joking. We have a DC Comics. Uh, sorry. Marvel Comics Cup. I get slapped by somebody now. We have uh, what, what, what's this? Ah, I was I'm not opening them. That wh why? I, I wouldn't. I don't even know if they've got Star Wars on the tissues. Yeah, it's a tissue box. Um, uh, Disney are just going hell for leather with the merchandise. Anything, anything you desire it can be Star Wars now. Anything. Gonna go on my car <laughs> one day, maybe for a laugh. What else is going here? Ah, do Space Nine comic. They do actually do Star Trek comics. Um, ah, now here we have. Now, I've been told this is possibly a fake, and the guy got it off says it isn't a fake so I take, take him at his word that it's not but there's no authenticity with it no nothing like that but apparently this is the original uh, Metallica tour poster that you got in Master of Puppets um, in 1986 and for all of you that know um, I think it was the was it the 29th of, I think it was around here somewhere, where uh, Cliff Burton ended up dying in the bus crash, the, the coach crash that the band have. And you can see, he has signed it. But I've been told that that might be a fake. And if it's a fake, it's a fake. But the poster still is 1986. It is an original poster. And supposedly it's signed by Kirk Hammett and Lars Ulrich. But not James. Anyway, it's nearly the end of my. Uh... Oh, what's, what's this? That's from my mother. And we have a. Oh, that box is going to fall over now. We have a police box. This is for the, the card you used to get for. Uh... I think I've got, yeah, I've got a pack of cards over there, of uh, Doctor Who cards. I have quite a large selection of stuff. Now, if we turn the camera, I'll show you what I mean. That is also full of memorabilia, uh, guitar equipment. Um, you see down here, there's a Furby there. Uh, um, that still works. Get 
Um, but I've, I've got loads of junk. Look, I've got old cameras. It's still got film. Still got film in that. Uh, ah! Power packs. Things about power packs. I always wind them up, stick them in my bag. Because otherwise they all become one massive big power pack. He says. And we have the hammer of Thor. Thor's hammer. You see. Ah, if the power. <laughs> it doesn't do it. It's, it's foam. It's foam. <laughs> Is it? It's not working now. Well, at least it worked once, I suppose. Oh, there we go. I didn't. I didn't have the uh, the honour then. I do have a Thor suit, by the way, which is up for hire. <laughs> uh, that's not going to stand up well. Up here, I've got tons of books, tons and tons of books. Uh, Lord of the Rings. Um, Turn of Sherlock Holmes. Uh, many books from June. I like Frank Herbert students. Amazing. Anyway, what else? What else can I show you? My guitars. Would you like to see my guitars? Oh, I can save that for another time. Put all these things back in this box. So, grab your photo. It needs to be looked for. I need to find the keys for that. It's not going anywhere. It's, it's safe. Oh, oh the car's back in. Meow. Bill's safe in their caves. Um, that way. I know it wasn't a car. And we have. Let's see my guitars. You see my guitars if you want. So the last one. Let's put, oh, I'll put actually, some lead boxes in here so I can close that box. That, no, that one more. Right in there. Um, right there. Kind of. So I can close this box up. Sponsored anyway by iFixit. This tool is fucking great, man. Look at that. Look at all the bits you get in it. Oh, 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 oh. I love tools. Sorry. They're fixing stuff. What was I going to show you? That was it. Right. Guitars. Have a quick look round. Let's show you a quick look round at this. Here we have my rig, so as you can see, it's only a Marshall valve step, it's loud enough for the house, you know, it's not massive, uh, well it is massive but it's not massively loud. We have there a, if you can see that, that's a, a Fractal FX8, that's, most of my effects go through that, and my looper with a volume pedal, they say you have to buy a, a proper volume pedal for that, but that's a cheap one and it works just fine. So, back up here. Stabilise the camera. 
So I'm going to use uh, ad hoc camera positions here. There we go. <coughs> right, I said about uh, Back to the Future guitars. I have one here. Now, you won't recognise it because it's not actually the, the one from the movie, but it made me want it when my friend was selling it. This is a 1984 Ibanez Rollstar 2. Now, the headstock, if you remember in Back to the Future uh, 1, uh, Back to the Future, um, for his audition he's playing a black strat type guitar. Now, it's nearly the same model. Now, his is black and it's got a scratch plate on it. That's a different setup. I don't, I'm not sure if it has a whammy bar or not. I don't think it does. But it has these very special like lugs there, the strap lugs. And I've lost one. And I need one because I'm using that there. Uh, it's, bra it's bronze brass, but so this guitar is like over 30 years old. It's older than Back to the Future. Uh, it's had some knocks and scrapes over the years. You can see it's uh, absolutely rod rash everywhere on it but it's still a it's still in tune all right nearly that's one of my favorite guitars the simple fact oh it's yeah that's true it's got these uh push box on so you can uh, change the different tonalities of these on the flick of the switch and it switches them over oh it's got the selector switch too we have the other Back to the Future guitar that I was it's not okay it's not a Back to the Future guitar it's like the one I want you may have seen me play it on here before um, let's do this properly shall we it's all here it's an Apple Mac's guitar stand This, because in the second part where he's playing the guitar on stage, this is a near enough same guitar, but it's an Ibanez, so it's not the original dot three five five that um, he plays. I love this guitar because it's well, it's jazzy. You know, you can do some jazz chords on it if you want. If you like, but. <laughs> it's like Foo Fighters kind of guitar, um, such and such like. I love this little like uh, slot it's got here for uh, the trush rod. It's got a little cover that you can just slide off instead of having to unscrew the damn thing. That's early 2000s this, even though it looks like it's from the 1950s. It's not. Um, Next, we have a handmade, um, it's a local guy called Stephen Hart, and he makes guitars very, very well. Uh, he, I've seen his, I think he's got an 18 string um, bass, the, the next that wide. Um, it's rather good, because he, he uses only scrap wood. Now, they're all obviously quite exotic woods that is used but they're all scrap. Um, you see there's like, you can tell there, this is back, this is a, uh, you can see with a mirror image, he's, this is just one, it was one piece of wood that is uh, what we call bookended in the middle and what you can see on this side that there's like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine pieces of wood there. Obviously, that'll be the same piece of wood there across there. It, and there's one piece going all the way through, I think. Yeah, zebra wood on it. It's, it's fucking gorgeous. It is absolutely beautiful, I think. It's kind of purple tinge to it that I like about it. Uh, right. Next one we have is, it's not a PRS, but it is a PRS. This, apparently, so I was told, 
may have been actually made in the PRS um, factory, but because he was an employee, he wasn't allowed to put the PRS symbol or the uh, the diving the swallows, I think, diving birds they have on the inlays. Um, so there's no PRS thing, but the thicknesses of the woods in it are absolutely astonishing. Especially the, the pickup covers are made out of wood as well. As if you, you can see the grain in it just slightly, really, really hard wood. It's a beautiful guitar to play. It screams like a, a PRS does. And you can, the, the blues cards it can do on it are they're, they're amazing, they've got so much tone. Which makes me believe it is actually a PRS, but it's not. If that can be traced back any of my guitar friends to anywhere, it was made in 2006. Um, this is craftsmanship on it, it's <coughs> nearly finished. You can see they've not gone that extra line to make it actually properly finished. And I think it's been a actual conscious thought not to do that as well. Though it is a finished guitar. Very much so. We have, right, I'm going to have to juggle a little bit here. And the guitar here that wants to come out. Um, we just do a tiny bit of juggling. And we should get back onto it. So put that there. Right, there we have my ESP Eclipse 1. The custom 1. CTM. I think the lettering off it. Uh, just put these guitars back here. And we have. Let's pull copy. The Les Paul is better than this. I played Les Pauls. Not on one, but I played them. This is as heavy as a, a normal. It's a big chunk of mahogany. Massively heavy. So, I say it was a good four key, three key, possibly. Um, it's just beautiful. Because it's it's neck it's not neck through, because it's not all one piece of wood. It's made like a a Les Paul is, but the ebony fretboard is second to none, and the action on it is like really low. Well, for me, it's really low, and I think this is worth about three grand. Something like that. Well, to me, it is. What else should we show you? Another guitar. We have the Freshman Acoustic. I think this was about a grand when they came out. Now, Freshman are a pretty cheap make, according to some. And it's, it's not a cheap guitar. It's made in the Canadian Rosewoods, I think it is. So obviously, very uh, ethically sourced. Hello, Beb. How many guitars do I have? <laughs> uh, 20 that work. Uh, I've got another one, two, three, four, five, five guitars that don't work. I will, I shall. I shall bring them on camera. All right, right, I'm reading. I have many guitars, many. Some people would say far too many, I would say not enough. We have, that's, that's a lovely acoustic though. The 
piling's piling up. Now, synonymous with every heavy metal guitarist there is, every heavy metal guitarist wants one of these. Though, this is a, a cheap version of a well, relatively cheap version. Flying V. Let's see. I like, I like I like Kramer stuff. I think Kramer made the uh well no. Eddie Van Halen made the the Kramer Frankenstack Frankenstrat and ended up it becoming one of their signature lines now. That's that's cracking it's well heavy. Oh, they're a bit loose. That's in tune as well. Hey, it's a good thing about keeping in cases, they stay in tune. That's why I'm better for it. I'll leave that there actually because it's. Uh... <laughs> right. It's an extra special. Extra special. This, I've, I've talked about this before, okay? this was completely destroyed by uh, my ex, so I had it redone. It was originally a black guitar and I got my friend to uh, lovingly paint, um, that's actually proper staples there, dug into the paintwork and she's made a groove into it as well, and scars and you faintly see, uh, see it there? Oh, it's this side. Teeth marks on it there. It, it looks like skin because of the way the acrylics um, been it's settled. Quite so, yeah, it's kind of cracking. I love it because it looks like skin. It's amazing. I'm a bit squeamish <laughs> as well. And I love this. This is ass. And. Uh, yeah, I upgraded it with some EMGs and the original um, Jackson pickup in the middle. Uh, and I think I got that off another Jackson because that one was broke, I think. And then she she scribed that into the back. Syrup's uh, her uh, artist name, by the way, if you want to look her up. She's great. Um, the EMG sticker. But this was originally... It's broke here as well, you can see. Slight mend. I had to uh, drill some dowels through it because uh, it had been stamped on and that had broken off and that has gone that way now. And I thought, I'll keep it that way. Kind of reminder, but it still works. It works as well as it did. Anyway. Next. There is more. There is more. Is it? I don't know if I've been through all of them. Uh, there's a couple of guitars missing. They're, um, well, my bass is up there. My unit. Which one day we'll go up and record something from there. When all this, uh, all the shenanigans is over. Wow, it's, uh, it's getting quite warm in here now. And start there and have a top hat. Everyone needs a top hat and a, a knob glove. But if you don't want the top hat, you can always have a straw hat. Y'all dig? Yeah? Can I help you, ma'am? Are you sure? Are you absolutely sure? <laughs> Another one. Well, apart from uh, there's, a, there's a line of guitars here that need care and attention. They're not getting it quite as they should at the moment. Um, oh, what's that guitar? 
Yeah, my missus says to me every now and again, is that I have these like, oh my god, he had that guitar. Like, she can't believe it. Like this one, for instance, I forgot he had this one. How is it open? Oh, there we go. This is. Ah, yeah. This is another one of Stephen Hart's guitars that he gave me. It's the most weirdest shape I've ever seen in your life, but I like it. It's, it's a nice bluesy guitar. These pickups are really, like, they've got lots of tone. There's lo lots of tone in these. And it's just a nice, easy guitar to play. That's it, I'm not going to play it just yet. The woods, again, they're all reclaimed stuff, and he, I like the wooden back plates, not the plastic ones. So much better. There's another like veneer of more wood on there that he's done but the he gave me this because of problems I had with my other guitar he felt bad it was absolutely decent of him what a decent chap come on come on here we go there we go. Put that one back where that was. And get another guitar out. Right. I'm losing space now. Because uh, I, I put my guitars over here. Let's see. Uh, there we go. Just lining them all up. Uh, let's get back where we were. Where we were. Yeah, it's probably better. Have another guitar here. Just move this mic stand. Move it around there. Oh, great. I've got a mic stand with, a, with one line that keeps coming out and it's just collapsed. This is a beauty. I, I love this guitar. I love them all. LTD Deluxe. Now, some say the LTDs are a bit worse than the uh, uh, ESPs of their more expensive cousins. Uh, this guitar is amazing. Even though it's a neck, a bolted on neck, it doesn't feel it. When you're playing it, it's smooth as hell. And the action's quite low on it too, which is good. And Seymour Duncan's. Two, which I usually tend to prefer EMGs. And all the bits come out. Yay! Like they do. I'm going to do this now. <laughs> that way. That way. Don't scratch it. There we go. I'm back. And there's one more. Pull that there. Ah. Another. I'm getting quite <laughs> I'm getting fit from this. <coughs> Another guitar. God rest his soul. God rest his soul. This hasn't got anything to do with Eddie Van Halen. It's a Jackson. It needs its strings changing by the looks of it. Is that a set of strings? No. I've got a set of strings somewhere. Yeah, this needs a good clean. Black guitars are full of crap. Here we go. Let's start polishing them all. But yeah, I love this guitar, though it needs a bit more uh, care and attention. It's, uh, I've not touched it for a while. It's a lovely guitar. Jackson um, strapped that neck through. No, that's gorgeous to play that. 
and that's it. If you missed any of this, I'll share it. Uh, I'll just share it later, I think. It's not the last of my guitars because I've got a, a line there of semi broken guitars. Well, no, actually, this isn't broken. That one is obviously, you can hear. Another Ibanez. Ibanez. This is a bolt on neck. It's really thin, it's so tiny compared to all the rest of my other guitars. Um, as you can see, it's been uh, fixed. Somebody snapped it before I bought it. So I got it cheap because of that fact. Um, this is going to end up like my Frank and Jack eventually. Because I've had a go putting. I think these were actually out of the original of the Frank and Jack, the original pickups. Because this originally came with. I got it from mate James McNeil. He, he just gave it to me because it was stuck in his cupboard doing nothing. It's got no selector switch, it's got just torn. Um, so as they, these are always on, there's no switching between them. Um, but I am going to set that up so it is able to do that. And I've always liked these upturned necks. I, I love the upturned neck. It, if you're watching it backwards, it'll look the other way anyway. Um, what else have we got here? This tiny, tiny, tiny music. Like a uke, but it's not. It's uh, it's half size that. But well, you can see somebody's fixed that as well. Or no, it looks like it's been snapped once. You can see. That's basically what I try and do. Sort these guitars out. I'm sorting this out for my son. It's an encore, but it's quite an, an old one, and it's really really light. And um, I've Bunged her, apart from my beard hair being over that, um, see more Duncan in it, and it should blast out. I've just got to do the rest of the electrics, and it should be fine. Huh? Um, once that's done and dusted, uh, that's kind of it for musical instruments. I think I've got other paraphernalia in that, but I can show you a later date. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, if you liked it, give us a thumbs up and. You got any questions give us an ask i'm going to stick that on on youtube as well so you can put it on there too if you like thank you very much